Greetings, everyone. This is James P. Madonna of Mega Life 21 and Progressive Discussions. And before I go on to do my next video talk show, I am stopping by from my immediate area off Route 17 South in Hasbro Heights, New Jersey, the one and only, the famous Bendix Diner, as seen on the Jerry Seinfeld Netflix series, Comedians in Cars Getting Coffee. That's right. It is in my close area, and, and it, I love it here. Outstanding food, outstanding coffee, and I will go in soon before I go on to do my next show. Um, maniacal Sunday Madness. I officially um, salute Maniacal Sunday Madness because guess who just walked in? Oh, um, <clears throat> I, um, oh, you were telling me about yesterday. I, I had uh, some issues with my custom made computer and I had to bring it in to my brother-in-law in Elmwood Park to have him look at it. So I, I, I always have a great time at my brother-in-law's house as opposed to getting upset when I'm here. You know what I mean? Um, how about you? Did you, anything exciting happen to you Saturday? No, I just had to go to Macy's to get, to get a, a different gift card. Yeah. You know what I don't like about gift cards? There's one, there's one thing about gift cards that are scams. If you read the fine print, they actually have an expiration date. Well, you read the back of it. When's the expiration date? I don't know, but I got screwed with my gift cards. Macy's has an expiration date on their gift card? I don't know about Macy's, but other companies do. So you better you better look. That's a scam, you know. You know why? But do you know why it's a scam? Because people are putting up money to buy the gift card. It's a gift of cash value. So why is there an expiration date on a gift card? I guess I better use it pretty soon. I guess you be you better get a magnifying glass and read the fine print. My eyesight's is not good and I don't have a magnifying glass. Go to a dollar store and get one like I do. Or you can use your phone. You, listen, Eileen, you can use your, your smartphone, put it on video, and go like this with your fingers. Spread your fingers. You don't know how to do it. I, I was going to teach you some things, but you won't let me teach you. Like, I have the phone with me for you to teach me. Oh, like, in other words, there's a, there's a shopping list. I mean, there's a, um, a memo pad where you can put down what you, you know. Look at it right here and see if there's an expiration date. I can't read that, man. Wait, you wear reading glasses, I too? can't read that. Let me see. Let me tell you right now. Hold on. This card, I can read this now. Hold on. Uh, beep, bop, uh, complete this card. Beep, bop, blah, gift card, uh, uh, balance. You know what? I think the woman might be right. I don't see an expiration date. She is right, right? I, I think she's right. She's right, yeah. Because my, my gift card had an expiration date, which is really not fair. She is hey, right, you're telling me, Jimmy, right? I don't, I can't see an expiration date, Eileen. So there is no expiration date, right? You're expired. Shut up. There is no expiration date, yes. Jimmy, right? Yes, there is. How many times is she going to say it? Yeah, uh, oh, she won't stop. It's going to be all day. <laughs> Where'd you all go yesterday? Uh, I had to bring my computer to well, my brother. Two of you weren't here before. So no, now you're both. No, I had, I had issues on my computer. I had, my brother-in-law had to look at it. The guy that you said built a crop computer. No, no, actually, he built me. Now this this built is a, a new one. Yeah. This is not crap. This you is. You said the other was crap. No, the other one collected a lot of dust. I, I'd sue him. <laughs> no, this time. I'd sue her. 
This time, I, I give him two thumbs up, like Siskel and Ebert used to when they were alive. Oh, just like them? Oh, boy, did you hear that? Whoa. That means they got paid off when they give two thumbs up. Probably. You all are going to talk a lot, aren't you? Uh, not only does he's, William he's H. wound up, I know it. Not only, not only on. does William H. Morrow want to be alone, but he doesn't even care if he dies alone. I bet. <laughs> well, does it matter when you're dying? Everybody I said that to says you're right. It just doesn't matter. Well, people get depressed when they know they're going to die alone. You know. Does it matter? Or you're dead. Yeah, exactly. Death, death is death. Does it matter? There is no death. You're wrong. I, you saw me yeah. use the amulet on that. No, but continues. people that want to be alone are usually those, like, the one, like the Unabomber, you know, like the whack jobs. No. Want to be alone. There are sometimes people that have grown up and never had privacy because people are bothering them all the damn time and they get fed up and want a little privacy for a change. You know what? You're, you're here. You're a form of entertainment. Oh, Jesus. Being that this guy is really is not too crazy about people being around him, if it wasn't for you, I would have absolutely no entertainment. Yeah, you would. That's we'd, a, case we'd, closed. we'd be talking football and interesting things. Oh, okay. Not foods, recipes, you know. You sound like Rick Brown. He's like, not into recipes and food like, oh, either. Like, we sit over here and we talk. We he talk just about, wants to make money. Shh. Like a Jew. We sit over there and we talk about the world's issues and problems and history. Because Mike and all the other guys love history. We talk history, what happened, what's applied, what have we learned. It sure beats hearing about food. Hey, that's why we, there's three networks on cable dedicated to fine cuisine. If food was boring, why would there be three networks? Oh, okay, Hot Shot. So what, what is their percentage of viewership ratings compared to other other channels on cable? Food Network, they're travel, not that big. Not, Travel they're, Channel. They're, they're not that big. Oh, they're not big. What's the other one? No. Uh, food Channel. And what was it today? Somebody said on TV exactly what I've been saying. God, what was it? I forget. I can't remember. I One of them was, can you get to your point? And I forget what that was. Something else on the uh, news. That'll come back. Yeah. You know, there's a new... But I was sitting there saying, thank yeah. you. You know, there's a, new, there's a new scam with online purchasing. There's a new scam for everything. You know when you buy something online, um, let's say Amazon, and you buy a month's supply of something, and you the transaction Look, goes through? Let them take all the money. No, you know what they do? Let them take it. I don't care. Billy, you know what they do without your authorization? Let they, them keep taking. They put you on an automatic renewal plan. That's what you get automatic. for going online, which I don't believe in, as you know. Without your... So there, suffer the consequences. I told you, hot shot, you don't want to listen, so suffer. End of argument. So you, th you think going to some retail store, opening the door and entering, and paying top... I believe in getting off your fat F and paying and top dollar... walking to a to some and crook. Order. Oh, so you're going to do it online and give it to another crook? No, no you on. save money. You get huge discounts oh, huge online. Huge discounts. If you hear please. Amazon Prime... Please, I've got my moron friend Joe drives all the way down here to Costco to save save a few cents on gas. You've only got 12 gallons in your car. Even if you save 10 cents, it's a dollar goddamn 20. Joe, stop the BS. Well, that's penny wise and pound fool. Well, thank you. Thank you. I mean, but when you're really saving money. You're not saving that much money. And who cares? You know, but but to, to, to put somebody on automatic purchasing without their authorization, that's underhanded. And that's American capital. No, I think that's good. Do it. That's American I capital. I think it's good. Take their money. Turn the screws on their ass. Teach them a lesson. I'm all for the teaching of lessons. Our revolution, lead, led by Bernie Sanders, we're going to kick these these demon capitalists right out of office. Which is his way of saying we're screwed. Nothing is going to happen. That's his way of saying that. Well, if if they expose that the election is being rigged, then the people would know it. Had nothing to do with Bernie Sanders, and nothing to do with Jill oh, Stein. Oh, his, can his candidates are, are, are on a big roll right now. You guys are going nowhere. Oh, and then we had the great tea party, which did what? Oh, that's right. The tea party? Nothing. Those, in those inbred racists? No, no, today's tea party, no. Th those inbred racists? They did not see inbred racists, this, he's a socialist. You all are messed up, I'm telling you. Let me tell you, you, you know that the whole concept of buying low and selling high 
is anti-biblical, is, is, is of the devil. Whoa, 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 whoa. It's of Satan. No, no, it's not. I read it in the Bible. Don't quote anything about religion to me. It's all a crock of shit. What if... Religion. Religion. You better hope that you God doesn't bitch shit. slap you when you pass there on. There is no God. How he might take he your that? soul and just bitch slap there you There is no God. Okay. Well, the aliens Don't might. push God in my face. I'm not pushing. There is no God. Stop but it. I, but I'm saying, you know, you know, like she says, like Eileen says, Billy, Billy, watch out. Be careful. I'm going to watch both of you flying by with your little wings. Like Playing harps, right? Oh, I don't know. You'd be harp. You'd show the clown nose on, probably. But she'll so. be, I'll be um, Chico and she'll be. Uh, the man. No, who's Chico the man? Harpo. Zeppo? Zeppo, she'd be Zippo. Well, she'd who was Gummo? Lady. I never seen Gummo. She was the one in the pot with, with shrimp. And stuff that was like Gummo? That. Oh, that's Gumbo. <laughs> that's pretty good. You see? He tells he tells cheesy jokes and I laugh. See? I give him. Cri what I know. The heck was that? You, what is Gumbo? You don't know, do you? What is Gumbo? You know, that's a good question. What is Gumbo? A I little think? flexible green guy and he's a sidekick horse. That's they put. Let, let, me, let me give you a hint. They put okra in it. Okra. Okra. She's, not, a, not she's okra. the host of that talk show, Okra, okra Winfrey. <laughs> oh, they put okra in not, yeah, no, yes, not. they do. No, yes, they do, Eileen. Oh, my God. They put Okra Winfrey in there. This, yes, this, Eileen. This is too good to be true. No, that's Oprah Winfrey. No, it's not. He's lying. It's, it's Oprah Winfrey. It's about a slimy vegetable called Okra. That's her. She's a slimy vegetable. Her name is Okra Winfrey, okay? Yeah, they put it in gumbo. Yeah, and Gumby has that little friend horse that's flexible, too. Pokey. Yeah, Gumbo and Pokey. You don't He's even know. No, they're an, uh, a play, play anime. Like, like, play like animals? No, no, not clay animals. Yes, they are. Yeah, okay. Yes, they are. They are clay animals. You remember yes. uh, the old show with Burl Ives, uh, the I Christmas show? TV. Rudolph, you know, you know. Were we a hooker? She was always out in the street. Oh, kid now it's. Playing on the street. You're a prostitute, weren't you? No, a kid playing on the street. How much did you charge back then? <laughs> did you play hopscotch with Ray? You know, hopscotch, that stupid game <laughs> with the chalk. They got right to the point. We played, we, we played, we played, what's that? Oh, you did know Ray back then. What's, oh. that? what's, what's that, that game? Shuffleboard? The, shuffleboard, yeah, we played a lot of that. On the streets? No, up in uh, Catskill Mountains when we went on vacation. No, I mean, in your regular life. Like, you didn't watch television as a child? You don't you don't know Romper Room and uh, uh, Office of Joe Bolton and um, Captain Kangaroo. You don't uh, Soupy oh, Sales. I hated those. I didn't like any of those. Soupy things. Sales. Yeah, but he was I funny. Not like any of those. Soupy when he told every no, he sent me all the money. Jumping, the money. I was out that was funny. Rope. So, jumping wait a minute. Rope. You were jumping rope that long? Out on the streets. Should have hung yourself. Streets and playing games. You know. Keep saying you know. Well, I was outside too, Eileen, but not at night. And the night time I came in and went to bed. With who this time? By myself. <laughs> Wait, what time did you go to bed? I think about seven or eight o'clock. Or you're, or you're, you're not a cool. You're not cool. At least we were. Pop, we we like night the nightlife, like the boogie, like the disco, yeah, like the song, you know. Well, you're wound up today, aren't you? Is the caffeine getting you? You know, people, huh? nocturnal people are. Is the caffeine are, getting you? Nocturnal. I want to hear her talk for a while. Are cool. Nocturnal uh, people are cool. They play possum. People that get up at the crack of dawn are not cool. They're stuffed shirts. Like, right. They're stuffy. All right, go ahead, talk. I stay up now till 1 o'clock in the morning. What do you do? Oh. I stay up. You sit there, you, you just, don't have a TV on. You nothing? stare at the wall. I can't have the TV on. We're in the apartment complex. You can't make noise out Oh, the Jesus Christ. I, my, my TV's always on. My yes. TV's always on. What are you talking about? What do you mean? How you big don't? is your complex? 124 tenants. We're 156. Don't you don't have the right to watch television at night? What are you, for real? Make a lot of noise. Well, turn, it, turn it down. Damn. Turn the volume Nobody down. said to blast it. I said, do you watch TV? That was a simple question. You better marry this Uncle Bob or whoever. Oh, by, oh by the way, did you have you cleaned out your purse yet? No, of course not. I put more stuff in it. I got more. Uh, oh now, my God! Now the the part was affected that the mechanic gave me four weeks ago, and now it's acting up again. What does that have to do? Are you being a hoarder? Coming on again, so I got to bring it back to him. 
Which mechanic? Not the one that quoted you eight hundred dollars. No, the, but the fifty dollars. I paid for a defective, for a defective part, and now I got to have them give me a new part that's oh, working. The guy that screwed you gave you a defective part. Yeah, now I got to get a working part. I notice how she got off the subject of her hoarding. <laughs> no, but it's true. I got to get a working part now. She she's slicker than we think. <laughs> no, she's not, because I sit here just saying, "What the fuck is going on?" Yeah, you're right about that. Well, the most refreshing time is when Kathy, Karen, come sorry, when Karen sits down with her food and tells you where she's gonna go eat. I, that's kind of like a little vacation. Listen, what is in your purse is probably 99.9% .9 garbage. I just had to put my, my registration. She changed the subject. No, but he said what is in your purse that makes it so heavy is what he said. I got a lot of important paperwork in there. A lot of it was expired coupons, you said. I How many? How many? One. One. <laughs> I threw them away one. Oh, my God. That's why it's so it's still full oh, of garbage. Eileen. I threw out a lot of stuff. I'm afraid of getting rid of anything. You're a hoarder. You know, the ambulance said that. You know, um, a stand up comic quoted um, a scene from Moonstruck with Cher and Nicolas Cage. I showed the movie. Okay. The best advice a psychologist can give is this snap out of it, man. Remember when Cher told Nicolas Cage to snap out of it? Unbelievable. Excuse me. I gotta get. I gotta get it. My cup is leaking. You always look so thin, Bill, like you're in California. Yeah, I do? Well, I guess that's got I don't know, I don't know why. I'm so pale, Bill, you know? Well, we'll call you Casper. <laughs> yeah. Casper the ghost. Casper the friendly ghost. The friendliest ghost you know. comes right through the scene. What? I don't know if this is from her cleaning my teeth or what. No, it's just a party now. Oh, Jesus. What a, what a lovely... No wonder dentists uh, have psychological issues. They got to look into people's mouths and not every mouth is a pretty sight. I got to go into the dentist's shoes too. Hygienist? The, the regular dentist and fill some cavities. You know, I gotta give you credit. Your teeth are very straight and you have a full mouth of them. They're fake. Yeah. <laughs> They're all fake. I but, know people hey, like Hey, wait you. a minute. They're not as yellow as they used to be. You're using Ultra Bright, I bet. Well, They're all good. They're either. fake, aren't they? They're not fake. Yeah, they are. They're real. No, they're not. I've seen you try it. They're fake teeth. Look, everybody. <laughs> Come over here. Choppers. <laughs> they're all my teeth. No, they're not. There's somebody some, else. Some are root canals. No, they're fake. With crown? With crown? What? Root canal with crown, right? I guess they're crowns. No, they're just root canals. No, the caps. They they capped it. They, they put, put a cap. On top of well, that's the crown. That's just what they call it, the cap. They call it crown. I watched uh, the Orioles are playing Boston right now. Do you have root canals, Jimmy? I have a couple, yeah. yeah. With crown, yeah. You're lucky you only have two. I got more than that, Jimmy. No, I have. I had two molars pulled because I couldn't afford. You know, nobody wants to pay for dental care anymore. Even my sister, who has a good job, has shitty de dental coverage. Uh huh. 
Medicare doesn't like to pay at all for dental. Uh huh. Yeah. I'm only missing one tooth, Jimmy. I had I had a couple of wisdom teeth. I only had one wisdom tooth. Oh, oh boy. How was it today? See, I leave, I leave those papers. Everybody reads them in the morning. Y'all didn't go out. Why? Oh, I was dodging floods coming home. I was stuck in it. Not stuck, but... Yeah. How about, how about the... Uh, Little Falls? I talked to my friend on the phone. We didn't get I saw videos of that. Yeah. I was coming down Arnott Street from Westminster and Lodi, oh, and there was a river coming down Arnott, and every intersection had a little baby flood, like a lake. And I had a, I had a dodge, you know, go into shallow water to get home. Cause Street next to me on Central Avenue, the water was up to the front lawn. Where, in Lodi? No, in Hasbro Oh, in Hasbro Kite. Oh, you're off. My street is fine, but the next street over. I'm off, oh. I'm off Central in, on the Lodi side. Though. Oh, okay. You're probably near Woodside. Woodside. I actually, when I vote, I go vote in Hilltop School. That's where I have to go vote. That's right. Really? You vote? I used to vote. I haven't voted for a while. You really should. You really should. Why not? I don't know who to vote for. What? You don't know who to vote for. You vote for whoever is making your life better. If somebody's not making well, your no, life that's better. That's why she doesn't vote. There's nobody else. <laughs> Come on. You know, really. That, there she's right for it. Mm. It's like those people in Wolf County, Kentucky that live in shacks, right? And they're like, they keep on voting for those that only work for the top 2% of the population. Rule of leaving the shack. You know, and they stay, and they live in the shack. Real leave them in the shack. I would take the way the right to vote in. I, I remember Love no Shack voting. by the B-52s. No voting. Remember Love Shack, I think? Mean? No. The song? I remember Rock Lobster. You know what? I think that um, brain cell deficient people and ugly people should be taxed if they reproduce. They should I be heavily taxed. I don't think women should be allowed to vote. I think women should be, uh, instead of doing jury duty, they should go well, to... Well, I think women should be allowed to they vote. They should be milked. Just the vote should not at count. A, at a dairy. <laughs> <laughs> right. they should, you think they should be milked? And what's from next? Milk? Women are going to want the same pay for the same work as a man? Come on, give me a break. Equal pay for a woman? Equality. Yeah, how can how can there be equality with feminists if if you date them they expect the the guy to pick up the tab? So where's the equality? I don't you see. You know how many bad get bad guys are there are that work? Oh God! I've seen. Some guys pay for dinner and drinks and don't even get sex. Well, ever you, you've ever got, you've got a sick ever mind for dating theories. No, if you pay, you should get something. You are sick. To get nothing is being a jerk you off. Sick. You, you ever hear of a fool? Yes, a fool for expecting something when you ask a girl out on a date. Then why are you paying? Because you asked her out on a date. <laughs> you know why? Why are you so nervous? Why are you doing this? No, you're I'm like one of those evil guys who these. Hey, I'm like Egghead. I'm Batman. Yeah, what's with that fans, no, man? No, you're Come on. you're absolutely right. The uh, the person who invites in our society should pay. I do agree with him on that. I invite my guy out and I pay. Oh, Jesus. I invite Does Jimmy, to invite my friend Jimmy Madonna have weird No, it's it's date? called being a smart... Can a you smart... stop talking for a moment? You know what it's called being... Does my friend Jimmy Madonna street have smarts. weird dating at street dumbs? It's called being street smart. No, it's not. It's not called that at all. It's called cheap. Yeah, Does, cheap. Does my friend Jimmy Madonna have strange dating ideas? No, it's called common sense. Does Jimmy Madonna, when it comes to dating, have common sense? So, buy the girl lobster tail and filet mignon and an apple martini 
and she scams you and she does it to another guy. Well, Jimmy, let me ask you one thing. And you're saying that, and why don't I agree with it? What about Dutch? What about going Dutch? You ever hear that? I don't agree with that either. You don't That's like just Dutch? That's not my style. Okay, okay. That's my point. So, you know, you're cheap. I'm not. I, I take a girl, I pay for it. Right. I, well, and I expect nothing. Because you're inviting her. That's why. Well, you're, you're just the opposite. You say you're invited, she still should expect that's sick. That is sick. Listen, listen. I, I, what, I dated a girl who passed the bar exam in Lisa Cohen. She passed the bar exam in both New York State and New Jersey, and she insisted on paying the tip and and, and for her dinner. She, was she the insisted. One who, she was probably indicted. No, she wasn't indicted. Lisa she, Cohen. No, come on. no, she worked for Bear Stern oh, when they went I'll belly bet. up. I'll bet. Come on. No. So, so you, you, you pick up the tab and you expect absolutely nothing, naturally, because you invited her. That's only customary. You know, but it's, it's a sad Where are you going now? I'm to get water. And you get scammed. You know how many no good son of a bitch scammers are in, in our society? You know how many, you know how I wish an asteroid. No, I'm talking to her. Oh, I'm sorry. You know how, you know how I wish an asteroid hits this stinking planet? Society, but, human race is so so selfish and but vile. But you're a nervous wreck. Your hands are doing this. And you're all Because you, you're, 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 you're like an Andrew Anderson. You like to get on the you James P. Madonna. Because you don't skin. You don't stop. I did. Relax. Relax. Lobster rolls. I wonder if they still have them. <laughs> you watch that, huh? Oh, yeah. I love them. Doing. You know what? There was one hair that I missed oh. there. Oh, speak, speaking of your legs, your scratches are going away. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I hope you get new new screen for your I razor. Went there and they didn't have it. Oh, we know, we know. Right. You told no, you told us they didn't have it. We know, we know, we know. Today and yes. I went to and I went to Target also didn't have what it. About the well, to what about harm? Well, you're just going to have to stop. Mm -hmm. And you're going to have to stop and just have hairy legs. Why don't she use? Why don't she use a blade? A razor blade. In the shower. Her with yeah, a sharp I object? Are you crazy? <laughs> I left here. I took my shower. Yeah, you do it in a shot. No, I lean with a sharp object with killers. Oh, now the whole no world knows you take a shower. That's pretty good. Well, I should. We assume that people wash themselves. We assume wrong. We <laughs> won't have good hygiene at all. You know what amazed me? When I worked in the vitamin shop, there was a... You know, your vitamin shop was about to go out of business. There was a 22-year-old, you know uh, a very pretty girl. You're not hearing a word, are yeah, you? Yeah, that one is going out of business? The whole company is about to go out of business. Yeah. Them, vitamin World and whatever, they're hoping to bond together and stay in business. Because, 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 of, that, because of that scumbag that no, was... No, I think because a lot of people are finding out it's a, this vitamin industry is a bunch of shit. Oh, people that don't and want... you to, notice, you hear... Nothing about ginseng, that all great thing, everything anymore. You hear nothing about E well, anymore. I wouldn't you hear put, nothing about ginkgo I, below. I wouldn't, anymore. you know what? I wouldn't put down nutritional supplements because that would make you a jackass. Well, people bought into that crap and they found it didn't do If jack you put shit. down all supplements, I'm sorry, sir. I'm sorry. What, what works? What works? The real thing? Echinacea, they found out, does zero. It boosts your immune they system. They found out it does zero. You know who zero. found out? Yeah. The drug companies. No. Your greedy, your greedy corporate corporate no. friends. No, 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 no. Don't do this to me and give me that. No, no I was going like this. You're wrong. Uh, I don't, I don't wrong. point in people's It wasn't faces. drug companies at all. Don't give me that shit. I got to go to the bathroom. Monday night. Again, leave your purse. I want to go through it. You know how much lying propaganda is in this it. stinking capitalist don't take country? Anything out of it, though, Bill. I am going to take Wait everything out of it. <laughs> oh, we're going to leave it. Oh, we're going to get gold bars leave at your look. Purse. I gotta, you have my brush to call my hair. You get the brush out right now and leave the purse. <laughs> she, look, she's taking that garbage with her. We're oh, following you. Oh my God! Go. Oh, help me! She's taking that hunk of junk with her. No, this, this vitamin they found is a whole bunch of shit for the most part. Oh, they found a whole bunch of companies it's, putting out fraud. It's all junk. You think you? think I'm in favor of fraud? Yeah, but how do you, I wonder if I told you all along. How do you know what you're buying? The average person doesn't know. How do you know? I I don't take it to a lab, so, you yeah, know. How do you, you don't know what you're buying either. Nobody knows. It's scam. Nobody yeah, but I'm, knows. But, but I'm not, I'm not going to like put down all herbs and, and well, all vitamins. Why not? 
because the real the, the, the case studies have been done on the real thing. Case studies have been done, prove it wrong too. Other case studies by major universities too. Now, major un like Tufts University, let's uh, say. Tufts, Duke University, the whole bit. They've all done well, ten year studies and plus. Well, they them I respect. Well, when they say it's all but, a buttload but, of crap. But not when Merck or or Hoffman LaRoche does a study. <laughs> That's well, biased. We're not talking about the co companies of pharmacy. College universities. They found out all this stuff. It's useless. Remember the stupid books? Sharks don't get cancer. Then they find out they do get cancer. They do get cancer. So what's all the BS going in the lies? Glucosamine for the uh, uh, osteoarthritis. What about my, my friend last his next door neighbor was already created melatonin and wrote all the books. And he said, it's a load of bullshit. I created it. It doesn't do a damn thing. It's a placebo effect, yes. right? Yes. He said, it does nothing. Well, that's why they call it double-blind placebo studies. What about studies? another neighbor that created that vial with dirt from the Holy Land? <laughs> there you go. Listen, there are... So what, so what you're saying is people that look young for their age... But no, what, I'm, most saying, no, what, likely I'm, what I'm saying, a lot of this is what genetics. goes around, comes around. Vitamin shop and other vitamin stores got away with it for a while. Sooner or later, it's going to catch up to you and you're going to fall, fail. Fall and well, fail. Well, if you're unethical, it's going to bite you on the ass. Yeah, you're selling a, a cheap goods, junk. Pinko. This ho ho ba. Whatever happened to ho ho ba? Ho ho ba. A ho ho oil. That's gone. Well, ginkgo biloba. Gone. Ginkgo biloba. Ginkgo biloba is gone. The ginkgo biloba tree is the oldest living thing on the planet. It doesn't matter. One thousand years. It's not a, it's, I don't care. It doesn't do a thing it's, for the memory. It's no. It's supposed to increase circulation to the it extremities. Do a thing. The brain. They thought it did. Nothing. Erectile dysfunction. It didn't do a thing. No. What did do a thing? Wow. The drug company. Oh, oh yeah. here we go. Uh -huh. oh, corporatism. Here we go. Money, money. Hey, hot shot. Shut up for a minute. Uh, uh, You're going to tell me Viagra doesn't work? It works, but I'm sure there's negative side effects to it. Well, yeah, if you get an erection for four hours, call your doctor like they say. Oh, by the way, I know anabolic steroids definitely work. No, they don't. They don't give you an erection. No, no. I mean for a muscle mass. Well, that, why are you getting off the subject? No, there are some drugs that I do give kudos to. Yeah. Some drugs. Yeah. Like the one Viagra? for... Viagra? Yeah. Uh, Immunotherapy drugs. The first one. What was the other one? Not Viagra, but the... Uh, Cialis. Cialis, and the one in the middle. With the L. I forget the name of it. Um, they work. They work. The, well. the immunotherapy drugs work, but they have... Of course they have side effects. Yeah, it's all this herbal... It's you, just bullshit. The, you know... You know how much markup a drug company makes on an important drug? An yeah. astronomical We're amount of profit. We're not talking about that's sad, that's wrong, it's sick. We're yeah. talking about work, what works and what doesn't okay. work. Okay. Not the money, the markup, or whatever. No, that's bullshit. And I agree with the government getting in, telling some of them no, and putting that guy sh Schlechter or whatever his name oh. is away for how many years oh now? Oh my God, that well, guy. He's a scumbag. They wiped that smirk off his face, so enough of that. The, HI, the HIV mm -hmm. drug that yeah. he was making a killing but The other drugs, they, a lot of them work. They save lives. Nobody has time with an illness to wait for a goddamn herbal supplement to work. It could take months, years, and probably will do nothing anyway. They found out they are nothing. Well, I, I know... Uh, well, I was told that by people in the industry. It's, it's, you don't even know what you're getting. You're I know an oncologist. Fillers, stems, and twigs. I know when an, an alternative oncologist has an outstanding rating of success, but he knows what he's doing. He, he right. comes from an MD background. Well, one of mine is one of the best. He's from Memorial Sloan Kettering. Yeah. Now he's over here at Holy Name. Well, look look at the beauty of the immunotherapy um, uh, procedure. It, people are getting off of chemo. And who does that? America's biopharmaceutical company. Right. Now, let's see what if any dirt comes up on them in the future it might it you may never not. know or it, it might not. not but it's not, they're not true about pumping stupid vitamins in them which don't do a damn yeah. thing well, sitting there and here's a few pills well that linus pauline's intravenous mega vitamin c does work uh, uh, uh like somebody had hepatitis c got bombed it right out of his system one person you know, one uh, person. It, Come on. it does. One in, person. It does boost your immune system. It works for work for one person. You know, the thymus gland is the is the master of your immune system. Yeah, it works for one person. You just don't know. Yeah.
Well, I, I'm all for honest companies. I don't care how big they are or how small they are. If they're honest... Well, how do you know who's honest? How do you determine how well, you Well, eventually, out? karma, uh, uh, they bite... Yeah, but in the meantime, you're hurting people. Come on, man. You, they, people can't wait for this. And they, they, no, no. You know, I, down the road, they'll find out. In the meantime, yeah. 100,000 have died. Come on. People need help right away. People that are terminally ill and or seriously and need help right away. I That's agree. why the biopharmaceutical companies, not the vitamin companies, right. have them in for trial tests, like an experimental lab rat. That right. it's worth the shot to try. They're that, trying. They're trying. They're right. And look at um, look at the, the charities that do help, like St. Jude's Children's Hospital, as opposed to the scammers that have a CEO making two American Red Cross has a CEO making two million dollars a year well, there or more. You go, but that's right. I guess you're bringing everything to money. I'm talking about what works and what doesn't right. work, and so, they scam you with things that don't work. So, um, so Eileen. Seriously. Eileen doesn't work. Si seriously. Hoarding makes no sense. How'd you get off on that now? Because I, it, it bothers me that somebody would hoard. Yeah, but how, well, you weren't even near him. Why did you no, get oh, I, th I thought we came to the conclusion but about... But how did you get back on hoarding all of a sudden? Because I thought we... I think he's obsessed with you. I, no, I thought that we we have addressed the issue. No, I think he's obsessed with your hoarding. Are you obsessed with your hoarding? No, it's just, it's not, it's illogical. It doesn't make sense. Well, the hoarding never does make sense. But, uh, Mr. Leonard Nimoy would say it's very illogical. No, he wouldn't. That would be his character, Spock, say. Spock. It wouldn't be Leonard Nimoy, so. Science officer, Spock. Huh? No, it's not. We just but, want you to shave. But you did do something that made a lot of sense. You didn't go back to the crooked mechanic and you and you went to Pat Boys. So I'm proud of you about that. I'm not proud of you. I think you I think you suck. Well she made a she's made a good consumer decision. Fuck you, Eileen. <laughs> well, you suck. I don't care about your goddamn pet poison or anything. Fuck you. Blow it out your ass. What is that? Manny Mo and Shut Schmuck? Up. What were their no, names? Really. Manny Mo and Schmuck. It just doesn't matter. It's like Bob's furniture. He's using the little animation with a big head. Yeah. Well, sometimes food is interesting, like when we talked about the river walk in San Antonio. It was very brief. You notice I didn't harp on it. I said, oh, so you went to the river walk? Wasn't the food great? Bam. Oh, by the way, speak to the point yeah. and out. Speaking of sports, I like the Orioles. Uh, Uniform with the bl the black with the orange lettering. I, th I think it's very the sharp. Have more uniforms than any other team. It's true. No, but they were playing Boston yesterday. They have black with orange lettering. Boy, we were in a badass year, but it had that Halloween look to it. It really stood out. Everybody sucks, you say, Bill. Oh, fuck them all. <laughs> Doing FTW, right? Yeah, blow up your ass. I'll see if I care. Up in a tree top. You can fart and fly around the room. I'll just say hi, Ellie. It's all, you, you know? know? when it rains, the robins, uh, I guess the night crawlers and the worms come to the surface. Oh, and I the robins have cares. a tugging match pulling the night crawler out of the ground. Looks like a cartoon. Then I think of that song, Rock and Robin. Up oh, in the tree top. Isn't it, Eileen? Oh, fuck you. You ever watch a robin pull a worm no. out of the ground? It, nature is fascinating. That, too bad you're boring talking about this stuff. No, but if I talk about martinis and football, of course that's okay. Well, they are. You're talking about robins and worms. Come on, man. Jesus. It's, but it's nature. It's nature. So what? So what? I'm fed up with everything I feel you know, like doing in FTW too, Bill. FTW? Yeah. Full fuck the world. You know what would yeah. be funny? Yeah. Yeah. You know what would be funny if the aliens landed and they came in and said, we want to have a talk with William. Hey, William. This, we're aliens, but we know English. Uh, you know, um, we don't... This is going to be stupid. We don't party. like the fact that you up. you disrespect uh, uh, nature and animals and everything. You know what? Now, wait we're going to stun you. You see how you we're lie? We're going to stun you. With you our see how you lie? <laughs> Nobody said anything about disrespecting. We're you twist your feeble yeah. mind Rock and say I disrespect it. I never said I love nature probably more than you ever will. I just didn't want to hear about it. Oh, okay. And why do you twist it and say disrespect? Because I watched the robin pulling the worm. Why did you twist it around? Don't change the subject. Well, you dissed it. Why? I, I didn't want to hear about it. Oh, okay. That's all. It doesn't mean disrespect. You see how people are bad witnesses to everything, crimes and this. They change things, they disrespect it. He never said he disrespected. Why did you say that? 
That's what lawyers go after. Every word. Every word counts. Right. You know what I say, Eileen? Fuck them all. But, but the Robin pulling the worm out was a, was a short couple sentences, and I stopped. Thank God, because I got on you. I said, stop. No, no, there was no more. There was no more to say. <laughs> What's I tell you about the subject? Well, Suck. There's really nothing more to say. You're right. I was just saying about the subject. Like what Eileen did, going to Pep Boys. That right to the point. But you, but Jimmy's got to go back to it. See? You know what? If I didn't go to Pep Boys, I'd have no. I, I, I'd be borrowing money from somebody, and my checking account would be all emptied out. Your brother. You fuck them all. Go back when they're closed. Break in and steal their money. So screw. Steal whose money? Pep Boys. You know, you know, you won't let me show you the tricks of how to use your phone because you're afraid I might take it. Is that the, is that why? No, I just don't know how to work that phone. Too. And why do you have it? I have it just to make calls and just to text. I'm not afraid of anybody stealing my phone. I would never take I your phone. I know you wouldn't steal it. I would no, never I'd steal it if you bring it. It's only these strangers that no, would steal No, 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 no. You bring it out, I'm going to steal it. <laughs> yeah, but I'll, you take, I'll take it. But you see what happened at that time? You had to run home to get a phone call and you never got it. I'll steal the damn thing. <laughs> <laughs> Rock and Robin. Tweet. You leave that there? You tweet, tweet, tweet. Already. Rock and Robin. I'll steal yours phone. just for spite. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do it just to bother you. Oh, Rock and I'm Robin. I'm taking your phone. I'll say, Karen, don't you tell her. I'm taking that phone. When I sing, hey, Eileen, you want me to do an Irish jig while singing Rock and yes, Robin? Yes, no, I no, yes, I do. No, no, I'm yes. only kidding. I'm Everybody, not come here, Jimmy, for the dance. Come here, go ahead, Jimmy. Let's see. Yeah, like when the girl came in, you said, what are you going to do, dance for her? Go ahead. You said you'd do it for Eileen. Why did you ask her? You want me to do an Irish jig dance? Then do it. Yes, I do want to see No, her. I wanted to get her to laugh. No, go on. Well, do it and make her laugh. Come on. No, have because then you're going to get all like it. No, right. I'm going to sit and watch you. Go right ahead. Let me see. Go ahead, hot shot. You better do it now with nobody here. When they're here, I'm going to push you out on the damn floor. Say, dance, boy. Watch this. Here, oh, this is going to be grand. Watch the foot action. You know who you're going to look like? I know before you're going to do it by your stance. No, by your stance, you're going to look like Jed Clamp. Go ahead, embarrass yourself. Jed Clamp. That's pretty sick. You see how fucking fast that was? It was stupid. You call that dancing? No, that was just doing a crazy ass, like a drunken leprechaun. You call that dancing? No, that, that wasn't professional dancing. This I, show her, you can't do professional dancing. I know salsa, merengue, no, you don't. and disco hall. No, you don't. I did it many times. No, you haven't. For professional ballroom no, dancing. No, you haven't. My uncle was a teacher. That doesn't matter. You don't know it. That was just a, for comedy purposes. Let me see you do real dancing. You don't know you it. Need, you, sometimes you have to have a dance partner to do it. Sometimes you don't. Let me see you get up and do it. <laughs> I don't know how to dance, so I'm not you know, going to be the no, he does. He, he's professional. Let me see you get up let and me, do it. Let now. me tell you something. You know what would happen if I, if I hung out, if I leaned up against the bar at Gabriel's and got a beer and a girl was talking to me? He'd do an Andrew Anderson to me. He embarrassed me to the point where I'll walk out and say, you know what, I'm not coming here anymore. Goodbye, have a good That's evening. Completely Guaranteed. You know what that you know what we used to call that in the old days? Cock block. No. That's cock block no. is when a dude it's wants called, all the women for himself. It's called Yeah. It's called saving the girl. Because you no, you, no. my friend, had a lot of problems. Remember No, with, it's called it's called a guy getting chasing Getting all the women for himself, so he'll put down his male hey. compadres. No, nope. gotcha. Uh -huh. I know human psychology. Remember when I told you stop touching the girl so much? He Touch. used to be all over the girl. Touch. So what, that's, Joanna, that's a blatant Joanna, lie. Joanna, the South Korean girl, you were all over her. She was I, like, I didn't like touch. This. I never touched her. Oh, gee, you I don't not. touch strange. I don't touch people I don't know. Should I ask? Are you serious? That's a blatant lie. That, 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 no, you're a blatant lie. Touching, I, I'd touching, be all over. I don't bother with the girls. I don't use Touching the, the public? Not in the public here, but you did with her. Uh, never touch. Okay. Never touch. Okay. That's a blatant lie. How do you want to ask the Only question? perverts do that. I would never touch. Now you, you know what? I wish the fucking God, the girl, that I would have gotten rescued and went to San Diego. I wish the Christ I would have got, got away from the sticking area. Him, Reverend Bill, the guy who died, 
I swear, if I did a eulogy for him, he was a selfish, grouchy, old, jealous motherfucker. And, and so is Andrew Anderson, and so is a lot of people I know that I grew up. I know many people from this area that are selfish motherfuckers. Now, are you done? Yes, now, I'm done. Virginia never Ma touch a stranger. All right, go ahead. Virginia, you gotta give it a rest. I never touch strangers. You did it right in front of me with Joanna. Touch? I was there. Touch? Yeah, you kept sitting, she great, isn't she wonderful? I said, Jimmy, I never up. put my arm around her. When we met we Joanna, the South to... Korean girl, years ago in front of uh, Barnes and Noble and Paramus, this beautiful South Korean girl. Did Jimmy, did Jimmy putting his arm around her quite a bit too much. That's a that's a goddamn lie. I never Jimmy, touched her. Jimmy, I saw you do it. Put her my arm around her. Said, Isn't she great? I Isn't never she... I touched her. I, mean, I might have said. And you never followed that girl when I when I yelled at you was get over here. You can't do this. Well, well, but I, but I never, I never touch people. But you can't follow them either. Now, see, you can't, you can't add things to it. You got to tell it like it is. Follows one thing, but touching no, is is a you whole did, other. You, did. you know what? Oh, no, why I did. did you question I it? To make sure I heard it right. I uh, got damn it! it. I got it. I got it. You I, just now got it. Yeah. Funny, How are you Billy. too slow? Funny, Billy. You two are slow. Get married. <laughs> well, insult Get married. Yeah, but insulting, insulting Don Rickles' jokes towards me, uh, it takes a little longer for me to get. It sure does. Because I, I don't particularly like them. They're not accolades. You know, accolades a funny word. Throw garbage out. No, I want Jimmy to stay here. Oh, dear God, and you all just get it. Oh, yeah, I just got okay. me. Let me just, help me. Let me just <laughs> suck. Let me just suck up those Why insult make jokes. Sure I heard I gotta right. help you. Why? You question everything and that drives me nuts. Stop it. I'm not going to tell you, you anymore. You know, she, time I say, you know what I She do doesn't it. have to agree to James P. Madonna insult jokes. She can say, well, I don't really want to laugh two, at that. These two Karen are in love with each other. They are. No, because it's like. They are. They are. I'm just trying to figure out. You know what I wish I had? I skinny would, like Charlotte's? I wish they had a rechargeable. She's skinny like Charlotte's? She's what does that mean? Twig. Yeah, but Who she's... Is? Yeah, but she's very uh, uh, delectable. <laughs> delectable. I'm not skinny. Delectable. Delectable. delectable? No, I, no. That, forget it. Years ago, I years ago, there was a court case on the news. A girl wanted to... She was. She got adopted, or or fostered, and she wanted to get rid of legally away from a biological family called the Twigs. Seriously, <laughs> with two G's, the Twigs. She was in Florida, so she was suing them to legally get away from them and let the adoptive family. Yeah, her lady name was Twigs. So when everybody was talking about it, I said, "Well, I guess you could say she's really trying to." Stick it to the twigs. <laughs> you know, you know what the ambition. You know what the ambition of a tree cutter is to be a branch manager. But isn't that good though? Stick it to the twigs. Eileen, that was pretty good. No, it wasn't. A tree cutter, a branch manager. Yeah, I got it. Yeah, that was that was real great. Yeah, you see, you see how some dudes are. They're worse than wash women in the office. Did you ever notice? You some see people, how petty they are. Some people can't tell a joke. That was a funny ass joke to you. To us, we just said, oh, yeah. Branch manager. Yeah, that's, that's uh, clever. You know what? If you're that clever, why aren't you making extra money at Bananas Comedy Club next door? I don't want to do that. It's that simple. <laughs> why aren't you doing that if you're that clever? You're, you're wasting your talents. Well, why aren't you trying it? It's called gameful employment. You want to go for open mic night? They have an open mic. Uh, they probably And you do. haven't even done it. I don't want to do that. Like, what do you, you want, want to do? Crap, I want to do nothing. I want to be left alone. South Cotri, be called South Cotri and say, what does William want to do? <laughs> South Cotri doesn't know what he wants. I know, I know. <laughs> he tried to get him hooked up with an agency. No, uh, he didn't. No, he didn't. He wouldn't even give us the name of his agent. Remember? So he would try. Oh, yes. Yeah, Sal was afraid of competition. Boy, it wouldn't Sal if he... You know, I don't know. That, I, I, that would have been a sight to behold. Could you imagine if Ray and Sal showed up at the same time, and her? Well, they'd have a mini Detroit. <laughs> oh my God.
It doesn't feel like a Sunday. No. But it is. I don't think it is. Yesterday was so crazy. I think somewhere in Europe, it's Monday. Were you here? Yeah. You know when they redid Main Street in Lodi, the uh, civil the civil engineer says we're, this Listen, is going to solve the flooding problem. Don't, don't throw him out. Okay. Do you know? Do you, do you know that this, okay. the flooding don't throw problem? Out, but I won't throw him out. Okay. You, you know, want to throw that out? But not him. Okay. Oh well. Oh, okay, Ireland. <laughs> If that's what you say. You know, the, the flooding problem was never solved by the... Let me throw that out. If you want to. I don't want to, but I will. Looks okay, like I want thank to. You, oh, I, mean, I really want to throw out your flat model. Thank you, Bill. You're welcome. Oh, this is just what I want to do. Yeah. You can't, you can't be, you can't be, you can't be Mother Nature. You know, so what's I mean... Going on, Karen? Yeah, you can't beat Mother Nature, that's right. The flooding problem was never was never solved. So what's going on, Karen? Is that it today? I'm glad I got, finally got my break. Well, she's eating. That's why she's quiet. quiet. Today on your break, Karen. Quiet? They won't make a mess in the dining I tell you, you know what? I don't know if it's, I don't know if it's male menopause, if it's, uh, um, geriatric menopause, but <laughs> some guys really get it get petty they get jealous and they get grouchy when they get old speak speaking of my finger pointing outside right now they get really petty I know I've known a couple other dudes that when they hit when they got into their 60s they got really petty and, and petty, you know, petty is like like you know like you know when when teenage girls like talk about each other behind their back you know like a reality show the housewives of atlanta the housewives of beverly hills and they get their petty or catty maybe yeah they're cat but they have they have money they're married to rich men and they they're homemade well I, I shouldn't say homemakers they don't they don't cook they don't like my my sister-in-law she don't cook she don't do laundry she don't do she don't do anything and my brother runs a business. No, no. So what I'm saying is they get petty, they get catty, and uh, this and guy, in their 60s, you're saying, he's, right? a blat he's a blatant, downright liar of what he said earlier. That's why I raised my voice. He's a, he, he is a damn liar. He literally would be, it would be a mistake to hang out with him at Gabriel's by the bar because he would he would want to scoff up he would want all the attention on him because he's an egomaniac i've known him for 35 years but he's a damn selfish egomaniac and i know i know others i ha I, I was friends with them because i i tolerated them because i've known them for so many years i i just tolerate them, you know until until i meet nice people that are, make good friends. Right now, I tolerate him like I tolerated the other guy that died. The one I used to do uh, political um, uh, internet talk shows with. He passed away, but he was a he was a miserable, jealous grouch. He's like this guy. There's a lot like that. Yeah, he would literally I guarantee if we were at a bar literally embarrass me so he I've would get friends like that too. he would get all the attention I've in the bar friends like that too. and and then i would like now you now you know why you hear about like violence about who you know who blew somebody blowing somebody else away and things like that yeah, yeah like 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 shoot somebody yeah. now you now you know there's always two sides to every story yeah. that's why Sometimes I'll go out like to Blackjack Mulligans in Garfield, which is a great place to eat and drink. Great food. It's an Irish uh, sports bar, Irish pub. Great place to go. I'll go by myself. A couple people know me there. 
and nobody aggravates me. It's like, you know, he tells me that a university proved that cigarette smoking does nothing bad for your health. I said, come on. I says, no, I, I, I can't believe that. Because why? Because he does not want to quit smoking. Now he's coming back in now. He doesn't want to quit smoking, so he says that university says smoking, tobacco smoking does nothing for your, to harm you. He's really, you know, his, his oncologist told him that, you know, told him you need to stop, you need to quit. My friend's mother, she had it. Oh, yeah. You know, this morning, to the artist learning it, uh, I'm in a real nice black family, had to be 12 or more, coming oh. and pulling in. And I saw Georgia Plates. Oh, wow. I said, oh, where you, where you from, Georgia? And I said, oh, we're not from Georgia, rent a car. I said, oh, my parents went to Georgia Tech. And he goes, he left, he goes, well, he did. Another big went to Georgia Tech. And I said, saw him later, I said, you went to Georgia? He goes, yeah. I told him we were talking some basketball tech in the past, and John Sally, one of the most famous tech players and most famous NBA players ever, it was his roommate. Then his other buddy came up, and I mentioned something about that. He goes, yeah, we just got up from Texas. I said, I lived in San Antonio. He said, that's where we were. Holy mackerel. I said, wow. Then the next person came up, Maryland place. I said, you from Maryland? He said, yeah, why? I said, I was born in Baltimore. So we had Baltimore, Georgia, and Texas. This is why it's so fascinating said, you being over there. But this is all one family. I said, this is something. I said, isn't this amazing? You're three states in your life, and we, 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 we're all just came, coming from them. I said, wow, that's amazing. That was something. Nice people. And the Maryland flag is gorgeous. It's beautiful, the way it looks. The state flag. Yeah. Well, what's your, what other kind is there? It's safe, like, yeah. No, I think I, mean, I think the Ravens have it on their uniform. Oh, Ravens! Who cares? You shouldn't be in the NFL. <laughs> yeah, but that, what a great looking uniform they have nah, with the know. helmet, with that nah, bird. No, nah, no. Nah. I love the Colts horseshoe. I live for the horseshoe. Well, the owner. She the going owner, to raise? What's she doing? She's going to raise? She's leaving? No, no, she's going to the bathroom. Well, but, but you know, she a lot. Takes a person. Go knock on the door in the bathroom. I don't think so. You know. She, the purse, I, the I guarantee you, is full of garbage, and she won't part with any. Times in the morning, I had to use the girl ladies room here about four or five times in the past. I seen women. Well, when, the, when the, the men's room, somebody makes up the spot, that's a mess in the morning. So even if we come back and stand and watch by the girls' room, why would go? And if the lady came out, just can give them a minute. A man is in there because the bathroom is so messy. It was so bad. I had to use the girls' room. Oh, my God. That happened to me in Baja, Mexico. Uh, I had to use the ladies' room. I had no choice. Place. Is that messy? You can't. You can't. Then at Pub 46 in Clifton, this girl just couldn't wait online any any longer to get in the ladies' room. She 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 was taking a chance, but she did it real fast. Though she ran into a an already occupied men's room, did what she had to do, and you know, you and, booked and left. If I was in there as a guy, I don't. I would. I, you know me. I could care less. Like if you were at the urinal, I'd say hi. You wouldn't like like turn around. Jimmy, so. I've been in there taking a piss, and the girl walks in the clean and goes. Hello, I said, come on in. I said, oh, no, 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 no. I, 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 you know me, I, I'm like, come on in. I, said, I don't care, what am I doing? My back's too, I'm taking a piss. So what? Don't be so sensitive, all right? Don't be so well, sensitive. Well, I, I know the college university experiment know, of the all gender, oh, yeah, blah, 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 blah. that didn't work out. I knew oh, it wasn't going to work. All gender restroom. You're what? You're transgender? Jim, Don, Jimmy transgender. The Don Rickle uh, uh, yeah, the, the, the arrows the, the, don't yeah. stop. They yeah. just don't yeah. stop. They don't stop, baby. Up in the treetop all day long, rocking and a bobbing and singing his song. I'm transgender. Rock and Robin, tweet, twiddly tweet. 
when a boy changes from bobby socks to stockings. <laughs> so now he's gonna get pissed because I'm going. Jimmy's got this. <laughs> I'm, I'm doing I'm doing that because he, he's he's already throwing arrows he's always shooting arrows at me I might as well. What cups are those? What cups are those? What cups are you wear? Your amulet is ruled by a demon and it loves William. Da, 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 da. I'm scared. No, the amulet loves William. Jimmy has tits. All right, let's settle down, folks. Let's settle Jimmy's down. Got tits. You believe this? Let's settle down. Listen. I want to talk about lobster rolls. No, let's talk about you and your tit problems. It's not a tit, it's a pectoralis major. It's a tit problem. And, and look, it can, it, can go, it can go in different... That's strange. That's sick. No, it's not. It can be done. You, you know how many decrepit people can do that? You know how many decrepit men can, have no ability to do that? Well, you're the, the one <laughs> decrepit guy that can do that. I don't know what it is. It must be something in the muscle no, it's called it's called you do you do you do chest exercises. No, they can. No, on the contrary, they go like this. I've seen it. I've seen it in a go go bar. No, you have. They can. Ask Arlene. If they work. Again? Were you looking for Ray? No, if they work out, they can. I'll go over there later. Let's talk about the recipe of the lobster roll. No. Okay, I won't. Well, it's better than talking about the fake rocks outside. We don't want to talk about those either. But they're so smooth, like a baby's bottom. Good. So, Eileen, I f forgot you. What were we going to ask Eileen? Something uh, funny. I, I, I don't know. I'm, I got tired of the purse thing because she's never going to empty that up. When I, get, when I put it in the new purse, I'll empty it out. Yeah, a bigger one. <laughs> yeah, it's called a suitcase. Oh, you should see how big his purse is. <laughs> Remember um, the thing on Seinfeld where Kramer had this clip? He put his money in a clip. He says, wallets are passe. People, wallets are old fashioned. And George Costanza says, I like a wallet. He takes his wallet out and he had rubber bands wrapped around, you know, vertically and horizontally because he had loads of expired coupons in it and crap. Eileen, are you listening? Uh, I'm, I'm being sarcastic right now. Yes. <laughs> uh, Sheik of Arabic. My grandfather used to sing this song. It was like a 1920s song. You can't rest, can you? You got to continue. You know Rudolph song. Valentino, silent movies? Oh, I wish. Let's treat Jimmy. Let's pretend we're in a silent movie. He would love them. Nos, okay. Nosferatu. Jimmy, we're in a silent movie. Except when Bill, except when Bill has something to say. Yes. But I don't do it continuously. Right. Relax, relax. Well, the branch manager thing was funny as hell. No, it really wasn't. It was very old. Oh, uh, that's what made it cheesy. I got you now. It was old. It's been done so much. Somebody else invented a joke a long time ago. But I was a short. Let the tables clean themselves. Man, that was a short break. Excuse me, napkins, napkins. Oh, this is a nice water too. God, are you obsessed? No, with they're nice free. Thing. It's beating the system. Oh, I love beating this capitalist and system. And you want to marry this? I no, I, I beat uh, I beat the capitalist system. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, you really took them down. I don't have to buy napkins for a while. Well, what you, what do you have at home? Let me get. Oh, I got a stack. I bet you do. And well, you named it Robert. Well, from the time, from the first day I returned, from the first... What? Where the hell are you going? There aren't any words left. <laughs> what are you looking for? Naked pictures? Look up in the horoscope. The horoscope. He dropped something. Oh, could I see that? No, I don't want to see that. You know, that. they have a they have a horoscope on Twitter. No, I'm the one that brought the papers in. They have a horoscope on Twitter, Eileen. Oh, uh, yeah? Yeah, but you can find it right in the paper. You don't need Twitter. Oh, but Twitter's so so easy and high tech. Ooh. Yeah. 
Unfortunately. If you find you want me to, you're going to go page by page, Arlene. Don't do that. What? You're going to go page by page. But unfortunately, my brother-in-law was right. We are being spied upon on, on the internet. Uh, we are being, our, our personal data is being collected no. every time people log in. No, it's not. Nobody's doing anything. You know Everything is innocent. Could I have it? I'll find it for you. Yes. Thank you. I appreciate it. You know, no, the, you, you know of the horoscope in the newspaper? I didn't know you knew. Where they doing? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Jesus! <laughs> God, I'm not gonna steal it from you. <laughs> Relax. Eileen, uh, your your logic is improving. First with the mechanic. But I'm sorry, the hoarding, that, that's an obstacle <laughs> you need to overcome. Okay, there's one. All right. Okay, thank you. That's an obstacle that's going to be a hard nut to crack. Now, I gave my sister a good answer. Good. Salmon is, actually blows away tuna in uh, many ways. I mean... Give me a freaking break. I'll take this article. Oh, no. Give me with me. Especially One second, Eileen. It's freaking great. Ooh, look at that cruise. Eileen here. You're a what? Sagittarian. Oh, God, don't know. They've got <laughs> skull and crossbones here. The archers. Sagittarius. Skull and crossbones. That means death. Sagittarius. What I, goes up must come down. I have really. Jimmy, what goes up must come down is one of the most, those natural laws that also applies to tales of exaggeration. Oh shit. A lesson you likely know all too well. You tend to creatively weave into daily life dreams of extraordinary experiences. Finish old business and tie up loose ends while you have the chance. This means you, Eileen. That's it? That's the whole thing? Yeah. Well, not that this means you, Eileen, know that. And it talks about my guy and Ray and all that. Mm -hmm. Got a picture of your boyfriend, finish Jimmy up, and Ray here. Finish up loose ends. Yeah, loose ends. Finish all business. Yeah, well, they're not talking here. Loose ends. Yeah, or, or shoelaces. What do you mean by tie up loose ends while well, you have the chance? Things that are hanging up in the air, like getting your car fixed. I don't know where to go to get it fixed. It's a loose end, tie it up, things like that. Loose ends mean get the car fixed, right? Well, not just the car, but anything that's hanging over your head that's not getting done. It's a loose okay. end, you know, get it done. Okay. Did you Thank you. Okay. You're from Ireland, right? No, it's Scotland. Oh, I, I want to try haggis. I need to try haggis. Maybe if I go down in Lindhurst, New Jersey, on which Ma road? He is a haggis. No, no. There's a, there's a couple famous fish and chip places yeah. owned by Scottish people. My parents people. were from Ireland. Thank you, Barney. My parents were from Ireland. No, she's Everybody from Scotland. Well, I was from Cork. Cork. I was in Cork. I was all over Ireland. A few times. <laughs> and I got a blackthorn shillelagh at home. Oh, just in, yeah? Just in case. It, just in case I need it. Just in case the wife can't tell a hand. He also no, has a photo. He also has a photo of Donna Shirley. No, no, not, not for that. You know, for, you know, evil people, demons. But, but I. Well, I need to. Um, I need to. Um, yeah, she uh, she was Colombian and she used me for a green card, and then she left. But I would never, I would never use it. On, you know, I would use it on real bad people, you know, if I had to. You know. <laughs> yeah, well, she was a great actress, though. I never knew it. Yeah. Well, a, a, tur a tourist visa is good for six years or ten years? I mean, months. Donald Trump? No, he wouldn't stop. No. What do you think?
think it at the length they made in, in London, England, of Donald Trump flying up in the air. Remember the baby, yeah. the baby Trump? He had yeah. a diaper on. He had a diaper on. And, 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 and it's like they, they flew it. And when he was they over, don't like him. Well, I don't think there's too many countries that like him anymore. They don't like him in Europe, period. Europe. That's where I hear it. But my family goes to Spain and everything for vacation, you know. I still have family over there. Yeah. Oh, I still have the cousin over there. I like black pudding, black pudding sausage, bangers, shepherd's pie. I like it. I got to try haggis. I like that. I don't know how I'm going to I like that very steak. I have one too. Over on Katona Avenue. Yeah, Katona Avenue. Yeah. No. Oh. Yep. Yeah. I have a few. You're all out of your people. They're all tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. Why? Yeah. Stay, stay. No, I'm gonna go. I gotta go get these frozen dinners, you know. Yes. But uh, oh, I know it's all countries that have their own version of black pudding. They all do it in a slightly different way. I like they use a lot of paprika. Paprika, yeah. You know what's better than cooking? Eating it. Eating. Not cleaning. I'm cleaning up afterwards. Is this your sister? No. That's my friend. Okay. He is very sweet. I heard that, yeah. He was talking to her last night. I had him in his last course. I'm surprised. I'm surprised my blood pressure didn't go sky high today with this maniacal Sunday madness. Unbelievable. I don't know how I tolerate it all. See you guys and gals. This has been a Mega Life 21 production.